So and it's sort of like, no, you're not allowed to smoke that, you know, and get happy and high and yeah. um, peaceful. Yeah. But you're allowed to drink and get violent and something, yeah. you know, whatever, you know. It's yeah. just not making sense to me, you know. Yeah. None of it. But yeah. there you go, you know, it's... Yeah. You know, I think, think people should be able to grow what they want. Yeah. You know, if they want to drink, let them, you know, but... Well, I think anything that's natural, mate, anything like, anything that's a plant, like, even today there's some people who, who are big, big advocates for mushrooms and all those kind of things, because they're saying that a lot of these mushrooms and stuff that are growing today, they're able to use for medicinal purposes, that they're, that, you know, they contain a lot of medicinal, you mm -hmm. know, um, things in them that help a lot of people who are going through, like, um, depression and anxiety and... Lots of other different things, if you see what I mean today, you know, because of the pressures of life today or whatever the case may be, you know, mm. or their own personal mental health, if you see what I mean. Um, but yeah, there's like anything, anything that's to me, anything that's natural and has medic medicinal value, medicinal value um, in any way, shape, or form, should be explored for that purpose, if you see what I mean. What to me, holistic remedies are much better than chemical pharmaceutical remedies, you know. Um, and I won't expand on that too much because I don't want to get in trouble, but um, yeah, to me, the holistic route is the best route, you know, just, you know, um, you know, you know, you know, the natural remedies and medicines and herbs and all these different things that exist that are good for different ailments and healing people and keeping you, keeping your immune system, um, you know, at its, you know, at its, at its most pristine, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, whatever, you know. So, so about, like enjoying the moment yeah and peace of mind peace of to me peace yeah. of mind is another part of success it is very much so you know but like for, for me for instance being yeah, successful right i have got peace of mind yeah i feel yeah yeah but not quite you know because like for instance i haven't seen my daughter for quite a while yeah and it niggles my mind all the time do you know what i mean and i wonder whether she's here or not do you know what i mean okay yeah you know yeah so you know you've got to think about how can you enjoy the moment how can you enjoy life? You know, you've got to be safe. Yes. That's number one, isn't it? You know? Yeah. And you've got to be healthy. Yeah. 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 You know, it's no good having a toothache, is it? Because so you're not going to be enjoying the moment or yeah. not being very well because you haven't looked after yourself very well or whatever. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So you've got to look after yourself, you know, yeah. to enjoy the moment, you know? Yeah. And, um, you know, I enjoy the moment. I enjoy every moment, really. You know, I enjoy sort of sleeping. You know, so you've got to sort of accept everything in life, I think, and forgive the yeah. past. Yeah. You know, another thing you've got to do, you've got to let go, because there's a lot of... I think everyone's had people, right, that's done hurt to them. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah at some point, yeah. And we all get hurt by people that we love, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And people that love you hurt you the most, by the way, mm -hmm. yeah? Usually the case. Yeah, you know, and um, so you get hurt, right, and... But you've got to live with that heart and you've got to live with your past, yeah. whatever it is, you know. Yeah. It's like, you know, Bill Gates, for instance, yeah, is he successful? But his memory is the bit built, um, he saw the Twin Towers, that's his bad memory too. Yeah. So we're all sharing what happens in life. We've all got, like we were talking about in the previous episode, we were, we've all got collect collective memories. We're talking about collective, pieces again. Collective memories, collective memories that we all share on a global scale. Yeah. Like things that have happened on a, on a large scale that most of the people around the world instantaneously kind of knew about yes. when it happened. You know, like the Twin Towers. It's like even when they supposedly captured Bin Laden. Yes. That was something that obviously was on the news pretty much on every news channel globally for that at least a couple of days, if you see what I mean. Just certain, inc wanted, certain incidents, like you're saying, like Twin Towers, yeah. certain things that, you know... They want it to be everyone's memory. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, th I personally, yeah. you know, I don't want to go into it too much, but I think they set the cameras up there, you know, they knew yeah. it was going to happen, and they knew they were going to put it out to everyone. Well, for me personally, I believe it was, right. I believe it was, an, in I'm, I believe it was an inside job, but I'm going to leave it at that. Because I don't want no trouble either. I think everything's in Because a lot, a lot of these, but... yeah, a lot of these people that have spoken out against this kind of stuff usually end up going, going missing and stuff. Yeah. And I'm not trying to go missing. So but, you know, like we're all... I think it was an inside job, and that is, I believe it at that. Not you know, we're all born, born in this world. Yeah, we're all trying to walk. You know, mm -hmm. as we're growing up, whatever. We're all trying to learn, all right. And then there's things going out on the outside world that's actually sort of shattering us in a way. You know, taking our success away. You know, like mm -hmm. if, for instance, if like. Twin Towers did not happen. Yeah. And I think it was might have been ten years ago when 
Northern Rock went down and all this stuff. Yeah. And all the banks went all funny. Yeah. You know, again, you know, this is crazy. You know, the government should be in control of all this, not not the banks, whatever, I don't know. Mm. Right, but again, all right, when that happened, all right, some people lose their jobs, some people commit suicide at that time, do you know what I mean? But not only that, but only a few years ago, the, the public had to bail out the Royal Bank of Scotland and Lloyds Bank. Yeah. The, tax, the taxpayers yeah, yeah. had to be, have to bail them out. So, I mean, it's just the anger. They anger people, you know, and um, like I say life's all about happiness, you know. We're all trying to be happy, and then you get a shutdown, you know, and you think, God, don't you know, that shutdown created a lot of mental health problems for a lot of people. Seriously, you know, all over. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just think, what's going on? Here? It stagnated some people's success too. Because there were a lot of people who had just opened up businesses, small businesses, for example. Yeah. Yeah. People Shut that had just, the, you know what I mean? There's people that were making trying to, had literally just got to that point where they just got enough money together and just managed to get everything sorted out, went through the solicitors to get their paperwork, whatever the case may be, did yada, 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 get their business off the ground, invested their money, and then shut down. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it did, it did affect a lot of people. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, you know, of pounds lots of people in different ways, you know? Then they spent billions of pounds on plastic, you know, yeah. which made everyone else poor, you know, because it all comes out of tax people's money. Yeah. You know, all yeah. The, it's, it's, you know, basically I feel, because I've lived 10 decades now, yeah, people are kind of getting, it's getting harder and harder for people to pay their bills, you know, things like this, you know, whatever, it's just getting a nightmare. You know, when my, my mum was telling me when she was younger, you know, when I, when I was a little boy, it was just all on one bill you know like the water and all this it was just on one bill and now they've separated it to, well, but to then make it, it a bit more complicated but, but then it was nationalized as well so everything was like you said under one one umbrella like you paid your tax your water your electric to the government yeah and you really I mean. but today it's all owned all it's all publicly privately owned isn't it the water's all privately owned the electric's all privately owned by various different companies and stuff like this yeah and it I mean? should be it should be privately owned do you know what i mean and it should it should belong to the public yeah. it really should it you know yeah yeah and all these buildings but the trouble is the trouble is is what happens is this is what happens like it's the same thing happens like if the nhs they're already trying to privatize the nhs as we speak they're already in the process of trying to privatize the nhs yeah and it would become like America, essentially, eventually, um, where you have to have you have to pay a certain amount of money every year for your healthcare, insurance, everything else. I, I that's well to me that's the way it looks like it's you know the direction it looks like it's going to head in you know, um, but yeah, like anytime you privatise any of these things, yeah, where it's sold off to the highest bidder, and then the highest bidder can then decide you know, what other companies he wants to see, you know, how much of a stake he wants to sell off in his company to other companies so they can all make money together, you know, they can all invest and make money together, you know. It's, you know, and then the people have to suffer because these people are allowed to maximise their profits to the utmost, if you see what I mean, you know, these, these individual private companies who own all these electric, you know, electric or the water, they're able to maximise their profits, if you see what I mean, they're able to raise their cap to a higher point and say, oh, you know, this is what we need to charge because of whatever reason, if you see what I mean, and, yeah. you know, and say, oh, we're justified in doing it, you're not justified in doing it, you know. People are, you know, people, you already know that people, like especially right now, as we're talking right at right this moment, electric bills have already gone up and they're saying come October of 2022 it's going to go up again even more significantly so as we were talking about last time the food has gone up the electric's gone up the water's gone up council tax has gone up insurance has gone up everything is everything's gone up yeah so they already it's like they're they're that it's like we were, like we were saying earlier, it's almost like they've intentionally put in a foot, like even more of a squeeze on the public, yeah? And increasing the pressure and trying to make it, make life as hard and as kind of like, kind of, you know, miserable and stress-filled as possible for people, if you see what I mean. It's like, you know, they already know how there's so many people out there today, especially young people who are working ridiculous amount of hours every week, just trying to make ends meet, just trying to pay their, you know, their rent and their bills and their, you know, whatever else they've got to pay. And then they've got a little bit of money after that, you know, you know what I mean, after that to enjoy it, a, a, a fraction, you know, of money to enjoy, you know, after they, you know, after they've paid everything, you know. 
and now they're making it worse where people are going to have people a lot of these people are going to have even less money you know and they're going to ask themselves why am i why am i working like this that's what i mean you know with, like, with, with no reward it's very, there's, there's no reward i find it you know yeah, I think and you, you start like you said people then start to feel mm -hmm. very unsuccessful and feel like you know it's kind of point it's kind of pointless and what you know and kind of kind of resign themselves to the fact that you know this is just what it is it's never going to get any better like it's just going to be like this forever more you know what i mean mm -hmm. and yes. I, 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 things need to change you know what i mean why why can't these why can't these politicians yeah and all these people that are making huge amounts of money every year take a little bit of a page a bit of a pay cut yeah, why can't they all say instead of making two hundred, a hundred and fifty thousand or a hundred thousand, anywhere between a hundred thousand and two hundred thousand a year? Why can't they say, okay, I'm willing to take a hundred and eighty thousand a year instead of two hundred thousand? And if they all do that, yeah, and put some money towards the system, yeah, there's so many different things that they could do, yeah, to, to improve the system that doesn't have to continually affect the taxpayers. You know, as it always does, you know, because the taxpayers are all ones that were always the ones that are left suffering mm -hmm. and picking up the bill for these people, we, we bailing, out, bailing out these banks and all this shit. We, we, even got pay, we even got to pay for our loved ones, really, to, you know, when they get married, you know what I mean? Yeah, death tax like and, all sort, and all sorts of shit, you know? And when you die, you've got to pay a death tax. You know? You know, it's crazy. It's, it's madness. It, it makes you sad, really, you know. Yeah. That's why I'm talking about success and enjoying the moment. You know, it's mm. it's very difficult for the public to enjoy the moment when they're being squeezed like this all the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, like, um, it, it's all about happiness. You know, yeah. Yeah. And say there's one like this town here, what we're living in right now. There's a fairer today, you know, and everyone was happy. Yeah. But like on Monday, they could be sort of all miserable again, you know, because something happened, mm. you know. And, you know, it's like this this shutdown that created a lot of mental health problems, mm. right? Yeah. And it made a lot of people angry and unhappy. Yes. All right. And there's a quote um, from Rebecca West, her name is, right? And it says, dangerous people become, on, I'm sorry. Unhappy people become dangerous people. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. And the more dangerous, sorry, the more unhappy a person becomes, the more dangerous they become. And that's that. Mm. You know, if they're not happy with the, you know, the world they're living in, it means they're not happy with themselves. Right. Yeah. You know, most people. And sometimes it's not. It's sometimes too. It's not even. Sometimes what happens is just sometimes it's very good people that can endure a lot. If you see what I mean, but sometimes it just gets to a point. Where even though they're able to endure a lot, they they themselves to get to that breaking point, where they just sometimes people snap, if you see what I mean. You know, they do something they obviously regret for a long, long time. Um, you know, but it does happen. You know, so I do understand the, it. So societal pressures today are very intense, and for the, the large pop large uh, pop population throughout the world are, you know what I mean, are the working class people, you know what I mean, large percentage of the people on, on earth are the working class people, and th these are the people who, who end up suffering, the working class people and the, and the poor people, you know, so, you know. It's like me, you know, I, conditions only get worse for those about, people. Talking about, well, you know, I was working for a number of years, you know, and I thought my wife loved me in the time way, you know, and she was hard of hearing whatever, and then all of a sudden I lost that. Yeah. You know, and then... Then three, you know, I got custody, or whatever. And then three day, three years later, she pulled my children's rights away from me, and I haven't really seen them since, you know. Yeah. And it's very, very difficult, you know, because well, those children want to see me as well, you know. They they love being with me, you know. Yeah. And it it's um, you know, I can honestly, you know, because it made me very unhappy that she did that, you know. Yeah. And it, it, you get a bit frustrated, right, because you go and see people, right, and they don't want to help you at yeah. all, or get involved, or, you know, and they actually make the situation worse some one way or another, or right, these people as well, you know. And you go and see, I, I don't know, it's just a headache, do you know what I mean? And yeah. um, it, it's really difficult for some people, because a lot of people are that alienated, just like I am. Yeah. You know, I've been alienated, and that's the truth, you know, and that means, like, the, you know, your ex-partner is sort of putting you down in front of 
whatever mm. you know yeah, and they're agreeing with her yeah you know and so are your children you know and it's a nasty thing you know and it is it, very upsetting for the alienated person you know and they get very they I, I think it's quite a, you know it's growing it's a growing thing in this country yeah. and did you know more men worldwide and in this country commit suicide yeah that's a fact you that's a proof of fact i think it's three times as many men can, kill them, take their life, you know, mm. and I understand it, you know, because I was a really good man, you know, put my kids to bed and it's been like I lost it all, you know, because basically I, I did have very good jobs, you know, and my wife wanted somebody with a bit more money or whatever, you know, and, she, you know, like she was young at the time, whatever, you know, but, you know, it's, I'm, I'm glad, you know, because it's made me more successful, yeah, because yeah. like I said, it's a big lesson in life. You know, and it, taught, it, taught, it taught you a lot and you learned a lot from, that's what I'm saying to people, yeah. it's very important to, to view, you know, you've got to learn, you've got to look at your past as a lesson, all the mistakes, the mistakes and whatever else you've made, you've got to look at it as a lesson, rather rather than a loss, look at it like a lesson. It's a debris experience really, you know, and yeah. you know, you've got to... Like they say, sometimes you've got to, you've got to turn your, pay, your pain into triumph, as they say, you know, it's all about overcoming. Mm. You know, you know. like a book, in it? Like you, you know, you're writing a page. If you kept the diary of your life and wrote something every day, you know, you turn a new page every day, right? But that you can read the past if you want to. You know, if you kept, you know, I wish I did write, you know, write the diary so yeah. I can see what what's happening. You know, like a real yeah. right now. You know, mm -hmm. take a note of what you've done or who you're with, whatever you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then then you can sort of really sort of. You know, I mean, I wish I did actually do that, you know, sort of write a note of every day in a kind of way what I did and who I was with. Yeah. You know, and it, it would would have helped me sort of remember things a lot better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But being honest with you, what I do a lot, I have been doing it for a number of years, you know, since, especially since digital cameras come in. I take photographs every day, you know, and I can, you know, I take photographs of my children, whatever, and I can still see those today. Mm. those photographs you know and I can see those memories clearly yeah, visual memories you know that's what I love about photographs because they bring back moments yeah. um, memories help, help, basically. You to help you to recall the moment and what was happening and yeah. the feelings sometimes you, you, you can even sometimes when, even when viewing a, a photograph it, you can remember the feeling you know the, the, those emotions you were experiencing at that at that moment if yeah. you see what I mean you know so. I mean, it's like some old films that you watch on television, you know, black and white ones, and you sort of see the old cars and all this, you know, and mm. the way people were back then. But you're actually going back in time then, and all those people now are probably dead. Yeah. You know, it's kind of weird, really, when you look at it. Yeah. You know, but, it, you know, that was actually, you know, because they invented that camera technology back then, yeah. we're unable to sort of see those memories in real life and mm. have those memories ourselves now yeah we've seen him you know yeah so but like a hundred well I'd say 150 years ago they didn't have any TVs at all in cameras you know no but I think no. people were memorizing so many different things because there's so many different choices to watch you know different films or whatever or different music to listen to or whatever yeah and then when you're watching this film you know you're you're actually taking the whole sort of um, story in or whatever, you know, or, you know, and you can actually think about it at bedtime or whatever, it's, it, it, it becomes part of your life. Yeah. You know, once you've watched that film, you've seen it. Everything you experience. It becomes a memory. Yeah. You know? Everything you see, everything you touch, smell. everything you smell, everything you taste, everything you experience. Yeah. Physically, mentally, emotionally, sexually, etc becomes a memory even music you know like music yeah but success you know um are we living in a successful world it depends on how you, how you it depends on how you look at it again but personally i don't think so you know the world well i think the world in itself is successful but i think the people who are running shit the ones that are in power and you know, you know, these people who like to pretend that, you know, see themselves as gods, so to speak, and, you know, think that they have the right to speak for the whole planet and the whole global population on different issues and make decisions based for everyone else. And it's just like, you know, 
who gives you the right to think that you can speak for the whole, you know, you know. They do control you, don't they? They control your they life. They control, yeah, yeah, they do. You know, they it's, do. All these people, people don't want it. No, exactly. You know, a lot of, somehow I think one time this is going to break, right, and people are going to be free again and cheer. Mm. You know, because this is such a, a depression for people. Yeah. And like, we've had it for years, this. Yeah. You know, like, it's it's getting worse, you know, I, th I feel every every two years that go by, you know, whatever. It's just slowly getting, you know, boring. Or, yeah. Or, you know same old, yeah, there's no changes really, people want change, Yeah. Mm. you know, that's what it is, people want change, that's what it is, you know, I want a different police system, completely, you know, yeah, you know, but I think people just want to get back to times, listen, there's so many people out there, right, mate, that they're happy just working and being a part of society, as long as that they know that the money that they're going to make is enough to provide for them and their family, yeah, and they're quite happy to just live a very happy, normal, everyday life, just having a normal job, you know, working to provide whatever. Most people, you know. Like that. But it, it's starting to get to the point now, like we're saying, it's starting, it to get, starting to get to the point where people they're making it impossible. Are going to get to a point where people are just like, what I'm, what, what, you know, you know, just, what I'm earning today is for a lot of people, you know, what I mean, it, you know, a lot of people might, you know. You know, well, I think they're people, not earning enough, you know. They, I think they, people will be stealing off the shovel in the shops, you know, I assume, you know. Like but what happens when the, if, if, okay, let's say, let's say for example, let's say we, if there's only, okay, let's say it's a man and his wife and two kids, yeah, let's say for example, yeah, and there's only one income in the household, yeah. The reality is, if there's only one income in that household and the wife's not working in this day and age, unless he's making a huge amount of money, they're going to be struggling. If you see what I mean, yeah. it's going to be either barely just enough or not enough, and they're going to be struggling. They're going to be getting into debt, and then that then brings more problems yeah. in in your relationship, in your life, in in terms of stress, and you know, what I mean, yeah. and etc. You know, yeah. can preoccupy your mind yeah. because you're. I think as long as you're on stand at all, right? Yeah, mm. you can sort of like get you know. You know, I just find, you know, I think it's, they're making it impossible for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, know, that is a reality. They're pulling their hair out mm. at the moment, you know, or committing suicide. The thing is, is that I think re the, the good thing about it is today is that people are letting their opinions be known, if you see what I mean, in this day and age. People are starting to, to come together even more, kind of unify even more and come together and starting to let these people listen, let these people in power know, listen, we are fed up. We are, you know, we can't keep living and existing like this, you know, shit like you said, things need to change, Indeed. you know, it, life, you know, th you know, otherwise it's going to, like you said, it's going to get to a breaking point and people are going to say, fuck this whole system, you know, we're not paying shit, you know, whatever, you know what I mean, that's it, you know, we've had enough, that's it, if you see what I mean, we're done with the whole lot. If you see what I mean, you know, we're not accepting it, you know, we, we don't, we, you know, we're not accepting this, you know, you know. Yeah, so, you know, so and like you said, pe unhappy people usually become dangerous people what you because doing? there's a, a lot of people, not every single person, but there's a lot of no, people every... that end up resulting to no. doing things it's a, it's a quote. that they wouldn't normally do yeah. to survive because they don't have a choice in some instances. If you see what I mean. I'm yeah. just saying that like, every unhappy person will become more dangerous. Yeah. Right, but more unhappy you become the more dangerous you will become mm. you know, and that's that we all got potential to kill you know it's like if someone took everything off you and your children or whatever right you would want you would want to kill that person you know if someone done something to your children or something right? horrific or something yeah, yeah you know yeah you know so honestly we've got potential to kill all of us all right yeah. if someone took everything away from you or whatever or took away your success yeah. that you've done so far, it angers you, you know, yeah. and it makes you angry because you know that you ain't got much life to live or whatever and you're not going to get that back, so you might as well kill him or whatever, you know, yeah. people do it, this is why we're, you know, that's why people do some crazy things out there, like, you know, like school kids, you know, killing other kids, you know, with guns and things, you know. And even the other day it happened again. Even, you know, rest in peace to all those people that lost their lives. Well, I've never in, heard about that. Well, there's been various different shootings in America. There was one in Boston, one in three different places, I think. One in Texas, one in Boston, and one somewhere else. 
and we just want to say rest in peace to all those people that lost their, their lives in, in those tra tragic um, shootings and, 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 and occurrences. Um, and our, our prayers and our, our love to all their families and their loved ones, you know, and um, so be honest with it's, you. it's 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 that that kind of stuff, mate. It's very very tragic, mate. When like even the other day, eighteen, I think it was either sixteen or eighteen young elementary school kids were killed. Someone went into the school with a bit of uh, an assault rifle or something and shot sixteen to eighteen kids for no reason, just because they were mad at the world and upset about what was going on or whatever the case may be mm -hmm. but those kids didn't deserve that no, those no. poor innocent kids did not deserve that mm -hmm. you know why would you you know it's it's like you're saying the world that like you were saying earlier are we living in a successful world today no no so i don't think nobody can be successful no Do you know what i mean it's it's not impossible. all this, this these but disgusting things happening. i don't think anyone could be successful in this world to be honest with you because it you know you can be but i think like there's even some people today who have decided to go and live off grid and i think even some of those people are probably becoming more successful than a lot of people today where they've managed to work for a long period of time and save their money and got all their stuff up together and decided to go and move off grid somewhere set up their own that you know what i mean they grow their own fruit and vegetables and they have their own livestock and you know what i mean they've got their house and their solar panels and they're just living off grid away from society got a little bit of money there to look after themselves and their life their loved ones and their farm and everything like that you know yeah, I, I, even farms are not even safe do you know what i mean yeah. you know people will you know especially if they get hungry right yeah yeah that's when it's gonna get it's gonna get yeah well, that's when it's gonna, you know, mm. get a bit scary, you know, and that's a scary thing, you know. We could have a happy world. Well, they project that in the next ten years or so, we're going to be producing about thirty-five to forty percent less food than we will produce than we're producing right now at this moment, and that's almost fifty yeah. percent. So, can you imagine if that if that if those projections come true and that is really right, that really does happen, you know. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad that I've only got 30 years left at the most, to be honest mm. with you, do you know what I mean? You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to, well, I'm not a, you know, that's how I feel, you know, I don't know whether I'm right, but I just feel that the world's sort of, you know, like, like it, it's called quantity easing, you know, and they've been doing it for a number of years, you know. Um, I think, like, that Twin Towers began it in kind of way, you know? I think that was the beginning of it. The whole, the whole, the whole, going back to the whole conspiracy of the whole New World Order type thing, I think all this kind of triggered was, tr started off, like you say, the trigger of it was the yeah. Twin Towers thing, 9-11, and ever since then, the world has been upside down again, if you see what I mean. I mean, after that, of, that's... In terms of conflict and everything on, everything on.